Now we have seen that the memory of an array is in sequence that is all the elements of an array are arranged one after the other in memory and this gives us a great ability. Let's see that. So I have a simple program written here where I have taken an integer array of a size 5 and the values are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and here we are just printing the addresses. So let's take one pointer variable let's say int star ptr. What we'll do is we'll point this pointer to the first element of the array array 0. Now if we print the value of the pointer, let's print the value of the pointer. Okay, I have written here the statement to print the value of pointer and let's run this and see. So I made a mistake, it should be ampersand because I want the address and now we build it and we run it and see. So we see here the address of element 1 is 724, the pointer is 724. That is now the pointer is print, uh, pointing towards the first element, the 0th element that is 10. So let's print this value and see uh, the value. So at this point we should get the value 10 because pointer is storing the address of this element and we are saying go to that location pointed by this value and print the value that you find there. So when we print it, we get the value 10. Now, if we want to print the other numbers, using this one pointer itself, we can have access to all these pointers. Let's see how. So what I will do is, I will increment the pointer by 1. I will take the same statement and I will print star ptr plus 1. Let's run this and see what happens. I missed a bracket here. And you see here, the second value that we are getting is 20. So what happened is, when we incremented the value of ptr by 1, it incremented by one location. So the second location for the pointer array was 6356728 and we have taken pointer as an integer pointer. So every time we increment the integer pointer, it increments by an offset of 4 because integer is of 4 bytes. Now similarly, if we increment it by 2, we will get the third element. We increment it by 2. Three, sorry, three and four. We we'll run this and see, and we get all the values ten to fifty. So we can use this in a loop as well. For that, we'll remove all these values. We'll take the same for loop, and we'll put it inside the for loop. The value pointed to by the pointer is percentage d star ptr plus i because i is the index. So at the first iteration, the value of i is 0, so we just get star ptr. Star ptr is pointing to the first element that is 10. On the next iteration, we will get ptr plus 1, so it will point to the second iteration, uh, sorry, the second location of the array, and so on up to 50. Let's run this and see. When we run it, see, we get all the 5 values, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. The pointer is pointing to this address, which is 6356724, which is the address of element 1. When we increment pointer by 1, when we increment it by 1, it goes to this address. It takes the value and displays here. Then we increment it by 2. So from here, it increments by 2 locations for the integer. It it finds the value 30 and it displays here, similarly for 40 and 50. Now since we have taken integer, the offset is 4. If we take, let's say double, the size of double will be 8 and the offset will be 8 bytes. If we take characters, the offset will be 1 byte. Let's take for character and see. 
so we'll change it to character char star ptr means that we'll be using this variable as a pointer to point to a character so we'll change this also to a character and the values will then be let's say we have to include character values and they will be in quotes we give a b c d and e now to display these values we cannot use percentage d anymore we have to use percentage c so here we will use percentage c let's run this and see so you see here the addresses are offsetted by 1 6356739 4041 and 43 and when we are printing the address that is stored in ptr we are getting 739 which is the first element then we increment it by 1 it goes to 40 it checks the value there which is b and it is printed here similarly c d and e so always remember that in an array the elements are placed one after the other in memory and if we take the address of the first element just by incrementing it we can reach the other elements to go to the next element increment it by 1 for the third element increment the first address by 2 and so on one more interesting thing to note here is the name arr is actually the address of the first element itself so what i will do is i'll remove this zero and i'll remove this m percent as well and let's build it again and see So you see here we don't get any error. There are zero errors, which means what we have written is completely valid. Now let's see, is it giving us the correct address? That is the address of the first element. We'll run this and see. So you see here the address of element one is six three five six seven three nine, and the pointer is also six three five six seven three nine. That means this name, the name of the array. is actually the address of the first element so we don't have to write m percent arr and in brackets the index 0 we can just write the name of the array this becomes very helpful when we are trying to pass an array we'll see this in the next video